What is up, everybody? It's yeah. been a long time. What's up, Cubs? The man with no beard. He's I beardless. Know. He needs a comb. For his Who hair. am I? I did yeah. comb my hair earlier. Oh, boy. I, nice. I combed Anyways. my hair for at least an hour this morning, right after I blow dried it. Is that all your hair that you have? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing. It's mm -hmm. amazing. Listen, uh, what um, what did they call uh, T'Challa when he was a baby? Oh, God, I have no idea. Black Pampers. Cool. Okay. I like that. Uh, that's a, that's <laughs> it, you know what? If you were uh, if you were my age, I would I would say that was a dad joke. <laughs> I read that earlier. I had to share it. That is a dad joke, by the way. But it you're is. Not, but, but you're you're only like 25, so that's not. I mean, you know what I mean. But if you're like, <laughs> anyways. Anyways, I am no father. Just in case anyone's wondering, I have no children. Now you know. So today. We're going to be talking about the release notes and some Cree team stuff because I haven't talked about any of this yet because I have been just streaming and, uh, you know, dealing with other stuff. So, initial thoughts right now, 10 seconds or less. What do you think uh, about the Cree teams? Uh, Cree, Blitz, and Raid Viable. Absolutely, possibly two complete teams. Who knows what they are or what they could be? We can speculate. All right, good. You did that in seven seconds. Congratulations. Okay. Uh, I agree with that. I agree. They seem pretty good so far. What I've done, what I've played, what I've tested. Um, I'm excited to test more. And it's a team that we already have because we had to. Yes. Because they were terrible to us in getting Nick Fury. So a lot of people already have this team. Uh, if you know, if there's a progression of teams, you know, you, a lot of people need to pick up defenders early on. Then you want to pick up Kree, and then you can go on to Shield and Nick Fury. So it it, it makes sense. It's kind of like a path if you will. It is, and I like that. That makes sense to me. It's cool. It helps bring structure to newer players. It's not just like, oh, farm everybody. There you go. Wow. Yeah, I farm mean, Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Farm Spider-Man and mm -hmm. farm everybody. That's farm everybody. Basically. The game is kind of like that, but yeah, Defenders, Cree, Shield, seems very logical right now. Yeah, for sure. So in this update, obviously, we got Captain Marvel coming. We all know that. Uh, Minerva's coming, we, or is in. We already all know that. Uh, the Ultimus Raid, uh, the next level, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm mm. kind of still annoyed with level 6, but level seven's coming, so mm -hmm. I don't know. I hope that it's not trait-based. I think a lot of people are going to be angry if it's trait-based. Mm. But Yeah, if it's trait-based, uh, the, the good thing about Ultimus is uh, you definitely can pick a lane and then focus on it. And, you know, and maybe if it's very challenging, uh, you know, certain peoples in your alliance will focus on a certain lane and get used to it and right. learn all the nuances. I I pray that it is not trait based. I agree. But now, none of the Ultimus stuff has been trait based yet, but I guess I wouldn't be surprised by anything. At this I, point. I mean, it kind of makes a distinction between, you know, like right, right now we're in the Alpha Raids, right, which is Venom, right? right? And that right. kind of, and it's very challenging, by the way. I mean, we're struggling yeah. uh, to get 40, 50 percent when we're not able to get to 60 percent. I mean, I went into mm -hmm. a node and it wiped out three or four of my teams. And I, it's very challenging. And, and that's fine. And it should be. Uh, <coughs> but I do like having uh, an Ultimus raid where I can take in my favorite team that I've developed out. And right. that team is a lock and it's at 215,000 power. And then, mm -hmm. you know, and then we get into some wacky fun stuff in, in the secondary raid. Right. Exactly. I agree with that because you have one thing that's kind of consistent and the one thing that's kind of challenging. It makes mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how I feel. We're on the same page there. Uh, they added dynamic camera to the two and three times speeds. Oof. If you don't know how to engage that, I just figured it out last night. You just kind of hit like the little gear in the corner when you're in a battle. I feel like it just looks like I'm I'm riding a roller coaster or something. It's just like. Bah! Well, I but. recorded uh, I, 3x. There's no way. Don't turn on the dynamic camera on 3x. I mean, it's dizzy. Right. But on 2x, uh, I actually kind of like it. Um, I bet I, I recorded a video earlier in that, and it is kind of dizzy. But 1x is really slow. But 2x okay. with the dynamic camera is fine for me. 3x, I'm I'm gonna turn it off, and that and most of the time I'm gonna play in 3x with it off anyways, because I I just need to blast through it. Plus things like the raids are timed you know you only have yeah. five minutes yeah so you can't enjoy it too much yeah so uh this post continues to go on a little bit about i guess stats 
and some stat changes and then like in-depth stuff about the crew we already all know about that if you guys have any questions you can leave a comment about it and um i'll respond and like talk to you about it but it's pretty much all there i can link to this as well um what i did not realize i saw something about it but uh magneto it got a little bit of a change i'm not sure why not like just like a little buff mm-hmm. um his special ability like when he slams everybody together mm-hmm. um they like it's all it's like more spaces i guess well, I, um, I think it was missing some, like, if you went up against, like, 10 people, wouldn't it miss some on the uh-huh. outer edges? Yeah, so, and I kind of read it as if it was supposed to grab everybody, mm-hmm. and then it, it wasn't. So maybe they were just kind of, like, correcting. They're fixing that. Yeah, they're fixing that. Yeah, so that makes sense. And then uh, then they just made it so his passive gives 30% health instead of 15. So that's nice, because I know a lot of the Brotherhood, at least, well, not a lot of them, but, like, like Pyro is just so squishy, even at high, like, tier. Right. So and it's so, nice to... Like on the on the passive, you know, when you put on the orange mats, uh, mm-hmm. Magneto's passive, which kind of fuels the whole team, uh, worth it or not worth it? Did you do that uh, orange mats? Yes. So I actually, that was the first thing that I did when I like unlocked them and got them all ready to like use. I put that on there. Right. So. And there's a there's a couple key uh, passives in this game. I like the passives. Like I like the passive on Nick Fury really helps the shield out. I like the passive yeah. on Punisher really helps the defenders out so on and so on and the magneto one was kind of soft but now it it looks like it's it's significant now when they doubled the max health so next thing we wanted to talk about is just maybe just some quick uh theory crafting for the kree teams not not too much in depth but just maybe like the the best team available Mm -hmm. right now and kind of what i was thinking is i really like korath because he's already good and mm-hmm. you got to have Ronin because mm-hmm. he's strong. Cree mm-hmm. Royal Guard just gives defense up to everybody and can taunt. That seems really good. And he has and, uh, 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 he gives out ability energy when he's hit when he has taunt. Although that taunt gets cleared pretty quickly and quite often, which I've found. It does. Yeah. Yeah, it does. That's kind of what I found as well. He's actually pretty and, fast, too. I don't know. He seems mm-hmm. like he goes like first and then it gets cleared right away, uh, which, I, which surprises me that he's fast. 117, that's really fast for... In the Kree yeah. world, I mean, remember Ronan back in the day used to have like sixty something speed, and 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 Ronan yeah. uh, still, I think, is in the nineties. Uh, Korath is. is lightning fast, uh, one hundred fourteen Val faster than what? Korath. It doesn't make any sense. Royal Guard tank going really fast, but that That's taunt weird. gets cleared quite quickly. But I do think uh, on paper Royal Guard looked like one of the better ones, but it seems mm-hmm. like that taunt always gets cleared. It's kind of annoying, actually. I guess, like, uh, with the Royal Guard, he goes really fast, and I guess the benefit to that is getting that taunt up real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, but then I guess it goes away real quick, too. So, but I don't know. I'm sure that there's a reason for that, and we'll figure it out as time goes on and we get to try the teams a little more. Mm-hmm. So if you run Korath, Ronin, Royal Guard, I, th- I would say that uh, Minerva is a, a no-brainer. you got to put her in there. For the at raids, least for, sure, yeah. For the raids, yeah. Yeah. So... She seems really good. I don't have her unlocked. I know that you played with her some, and I have some Alliance uh, mates that are playing with her right now. She seems really good for the raids. Right. And then Captain Marvel, we don't know yet, but she seems like she's going to be She looks amazing, good. and she, she has does. a pre tag, and exactly. she looks really good, so we'll see. Exactly. So I think that this, uh, her third ability is going to be really crazy. She'll be able to clear uh, all the negative side effects of herself. And then she attacks for, I think it's like 640% damage at the final level. Mm -hmm. And um, that's one of the highest percentage attacks in the game. So she has decent stats. Yeah, she has decent stats. And also she has at the end of, when she's in that binary form, uh, at the end of each turn, she does like an AOE. For 120 percent damage which i think is on her passive Whoa. that's gonna wipe out all the minions every turn uh, yeah it'll be will. basically no minions and if you're running her with like thanos uh then you know that's gonna just spread the ability energy and there's all kinds of really cool interactions i'm finding with thanos and the kree and ronin and uh the kree oracle yeah so i think that uh kree oracle i mean he's crazy too because what his thing got changed to is that he's gonna heal people every time they gain energy Right. So if it's Kree, it's going to be doubled. Mm -hmm. But even if it's not, if you have Thanos, who's given, I don't know, two, three energy. Two per death. Yeah, two per death. And and they're all, uh, and he shares it with the Kree. So basically, 
you know, you could put him right next to Minerva and mm-hmm. uh, the the tank Royal Guard, and then they're always going to have energy, and they're always going to be healing off of Ronan's passive, and then right. and Thanos is always going to be healing off of uh, the Oracle's passive, and then right. Thanos can heal himself. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I, I did make a video about it, and uh, Oracle on paper looks like trash. Uh, yeah. He just, and I could see that you have him under geared, uh, but do. because it didn't have that Cree tag on his passive, I'm finding him useful in the raids. Yeah, I think he will be. It'll be cool to have another Cree team, especially another like good, I guess, uh, cosmic Cree team. And yeah, be, we definitely or, have enough characters me. for two Cree teams, but uh, yeah, uh, Noble was a little underwhelming for me. Cyborg was a little underwhelming. Cree Reaper, I saw fantastic damage output. Uh, I've got a similar level Cree. You know about twenty five thousand on my team, and with that middle ability, somehow I was hitting for like sixty thousand times at times when it critted, wow. and uh, that was fantastic. Uh, Ronan, of course, is just magical. You know, he's the staple of the team, and uh, I actually have not dug into Korath or Ultimus, and you know it's hard to see what's going to happen with Ms. Marvel. Her kit looks importantly uh, very good. It's got that weird military tag, which is a little bit controversial too. I don't know if you looked into that. Yeah, I know, like, originally they had said as far as military tags go, they said it was just going to be on War Machine, um, but then, like, originally, then they were going to add it to more people as it went on, but I know they mm-hmm. added it to War Machine, Captain America, and Winter Soldier. Yeah, but not Punisher. I mean, it just seems yeah. so strange. You know, yeah. I don't, they're going to have to sort that out. It doesn't seem very consistent, but, uh, you know, she looks like a miniature, her passive looks like a miniature leadership ability uh, it does. for... Uh, you know, she kind of is reminding me of like a vision. I mean, she could probably work on Kree mm-hmm. really well. She probably could work with Captain America with War Machine. And then, of course, if you're going to run War Machine, yeah. you got to run Iron Man. If you're going to run Captain you America, you know, so you've almost got a team right there. You know, those yeah. four, you know, who you make the, the fifth one, you know. So uh, there's all kinds of stuff that's going. Ultimus is still kind of, uh, what do you think? I, 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 it looks like we're at the exact same place with Ultimus. I'm about that many shards. I'm not really excited to get him unlocked. It doesn't look like he does much, you know, but we'll see, right? Yeah, I think at this point, the only reason I want to unlock Ultimus is so I can just use his, uh, like, his headshot for my profile, you know, just to oh, be that there guy. You go. <laughs> I use, but, uh, I, I, I use like, a Hydra, Hydra, Hydra Sniper or something because I think it's funny. <laughs> well, I, of course, have Carnage. Oh, okay, well, yeah. Of course, I mean, you can't, can't not have Carnage if you're me, so... It makes sense. We have that. So, I guess really what we're thinking is that Kree's pretty good. You, Where would you rank him, uh, just real quickly, where, where would you rank him in, like, uh, maybe not necessarily even a tier, but you obviously got S.H.I.E.L.D., which is the best team in the game for everything. Yeah. Then you've got, then you've got Brotherhood, which is very good for, like, offensive things, but not, like, long-term things. Then you have Defenders and then so on. I guess Guardians go in there, too, but where would you put them? Okay, so, like, in the, in the arena and in Blitz, I, I want to say it's probably <clears throat> a step down from Defenders. But in okay. the the raid, it's a step up from the defenders. Okay, yeah. And, I mean, and that... defenders is by no means like magical, but defenders seems to be the kind of like the baseline team, especially for blitz. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. uh, you avoid defenders yeah. and blitz, but if you can beat defenders and blitz, which is going to be teams like Shield and Brotherhood, right? Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. It it kind of can beat bl- defenders. I, I I've I've done it on seven dot four. If I would have played it correctly, if I understood the Kree team better I would have won uh so it, it's probably not as good as defender in the blitz but it seems better in the rates than defenders uh, just more healing yeah okay well that makes sense to me I like it I'm excited to try it out so not shield though it's not shield yeah. shield yeah. shield is still my top tier recommendation for balance and usefulness in arena and in blitz and in the raids I mean overall shield as second only to uh, Brotherhood in the arena, but in the raids, right. uh, they're just unstoppable almost. They're amazing. Agreed, which is pretty awesome. So I think uh, eventually at some point there will be a team that's obviously as good as S.H.I.E.L.D. or better, but we don't know anything about that right now or when it'll be or who it could be or anything like that. But one day, S.H.I.E.L.D. will not be the top team anymore. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so that's pretty much... Uh, that's kind of just wrapping up my thoughts there. Um, the Cree seem great. I'm enjoying them. I'm excited for them. And um, that's how I feel. So any any parting words, any thoughts? 
Uh, I'm really excited about uh, Captain Marvel and how she gets unlocked and how that works. Her kit looks very amazing. Uh, and it doesn't it doesn't even really look like a, a raid kit the way the blitz mechanic or the charge mechanic works on it I don't know how that's gonna work in Raids, but just having the Kree tags. I just like that. It's not a uh, Kind of like a forced <coughs> team. It looks like there's some flexibility even with the Kree faction There's so many Kree you can kind of uh, make your own team and, and decide for yourself. I, I, I do like that I do too. So maybe they kind of like heard us talking about how we didn't necessarily like the forced like five. And right. They gave us. They forced the faction, but there's still a lot of options. So I yeah. like that. Yeah, it's, it seems fine. I, I like yeah. it a lot. I agree with that. So let us know what you guys think. Um, leave a comment down below if you're enjoying Cree so far. If you haven't tried them out yet. If you. I don't know if you have a better combination of teams and uh, let us know about that. Uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed uh, this reunion of Trevor and I, because it's been a little while because we both had conflicting schedules. And um, yeah, sub to the channel if you're not yet. We're growing like crazy. It's really exciting. So you better hop on for the ride. Uh, Discord in the description and everything else you need to know. Until next time, Trevor, is there anything that you want to tell the fine people in the audience. Hail Hydra. Wait, hold on a second. I'm not in Hydra anymore. Wait.